Yeah, this Black Knight. Last video, uh, I was talking about elders. And my grandsons interrupted me and made me lose my thought, my train of thought. Now, then I started talking about how our women uh, treat, the, treat the young ones. I was give, giving you a testimony on that. Uh, I'm going to resume that one, but I'm going to get back to the elders, us elders. And I was telling you how the young folks, the young ones, I mean the ones in their 20s and 30s, 40s, and even 50s. A lot of them cats in their 50s think they old. You know, man, you ain't old. I know I got about... Uh, What, 20, 20 years on you? I'm 71, 15 or 20 years on you. You could get in a lot in those 15, 20 years now of experience. And I done did a lot of things, man. I done had a lot of different kind of jobs. I done did a lot of different kind of hustles. You know, I done hustled. I know how to hustle uh, food, you know, because my uncle had a store. He sold fish door to door. Uh, one of my uncles had a gambling joint. I I had me a, a, I used to give games. I didn't have no joint, but I gave games. And uh, hustled that. Dice cards. I pimped. It's nothing, nothing to brag about. I don't think y'all think I'm bragging. Uh, I worked out at Chrysler's, all the damn near all the Chrysler's, Dodge Main, uh, the truck in Mile Road, Plymouth. Uh, what what else? Uh, I worked out at Ford's. All damn near about three plants out at Ford's. I worked in the foundry. I worked in both foundries, you know. I cut meat in the supermarket. I cut meat uh, uh, landscaping, janitorial work, office. I was an office clerk. Uh, oh, uh. I worked for the uh, the streets, filling up potholes and uh, putting in sidewalks and curbs, and uh, for the city rather. Uh, I done been locked up a couple of times, but I didn't do no nothing but a couple of days, you know. Got on probation. Uh, had to do some community, community, uh, whatever you call that. Uh, been a musician and a, a vocalist, a recording artist. Uh, traveled several places. Was in the FOY. Travel in the FOI. Uh, man, I did a lot of things, man. I was on TV. I had a TV, television show. I mean, yeah, television and radio program in Highland Park. Uh, I ended, I, I did a lot, you know. I'm an old cat, man, and I've been around. I haven't traveled out the country that much, but uh, I'd have been to New York a couple of times, Chicago a couple of times. Uh, I went to my people's farms and learned about 
uh, farming and uh, uh, a little bit about it, you know, not much. But, you know, as I was saying in the last video, when you get a certain round 71, uh, things start happening to your body. And, uh, but if you keep yourself, try to keep yourself active in good shape, keep your mind active, you'll be all right. But the main thing you got to keep more than your body is your mind, mental. Your mental health got to be tight. You got to be sharp. Your reflexes got to be sharp. Because we're talking about the science of war and business is a war and everything over here in the United States your family you is a business it's commerce you see so they didn't weaponize money they didn't weaponize commerce Business is a war. That's why Donald Trump is president. Well, business ain't nothing but hustling. You know. Stacking chips. You know. And all of it blend in together. And so it's all commerce and it all is war. Black light.